What's up, everybody? This is your girl again, Miss Artemis Zero. I'm bringing you guys another problem-solving episode on Battlefield 3 on Rush on Caspian Border. And I'm going to give you guys a little bit of Rush tips right now. And I'm running the recon class. going to place my mobile spawn right there because that isn't actually a good spot to place it. It's outside the area of the main base, but it's not too far away at the same time. Now, right now, I would actually go ahead and plant an A, but unfortunately, I saw something with my eagle eye up top of this roof, and I just had to see what was going on up here. And of course, for a surprise, surprise, I see this sniper right here, and give me them dog tags, son. I'm just shooting at my friends, and I, I walked right past this guy. I don't know how I ain't see him. And I think he was playing with that MAV, Near, I guess it does immobilize you to do anything else. You know, I never played with it yet. I actually didn't get it yet, so I don't know. I didn't, and I'm not sure what if it does immobilize you to do anything. I don't know how I didn't get that guy. I guess that railing and me swaying back and forth like that messed up my aim right there. But I don't know about you guys. I like collecting dog tags. You know, whenever I get a chance, I'm gonna do it. And that's that's a hobby I like to do on Battlefield 3. Is Find snipers and take the dog tags. And that always kind of gets me in trouble in this game of my, my my many, many deaths. But I like collecting dog tags. And I want to say is that's the beauty of me running recon class. And the reason why I like setting up mobile spawns. It gets me back into the action and also your team. And, and the reason why I place it, my, my mobile spawn in a building or a crate just like what I did you want it less outside as possible, unless it's, it's on Operation Metro, then you don't, it doesn't matter where you place it. Well, you know what, I'm taking that back. It does kind of does. Just make sure it's not in a stupid area that hinders your entire team, because I'll camp a mobile spawn just to kill your, your team to respawn, like I do uh, a tactical insertion in Modern Warfare 3. You know, Battlefield 3 is no different. Uh, and the reason why I place my mobile spawn in a closed area, because you don't want your team to parachute in the red zone. I've seen so many mobile spawns just placed outside of, of open area. And you want to limit your team to parachute in because people that have been playing this game for a long time will notice the enemy just magically disappear in thin air with no air support in the sky. You know, that sets off red flags, especially to me. You know, I'll be on a hunt for enemy mobile spawns if something is out of the ordinary or... The, the enemy team is just pushing up way too fast. So please, if you're, if you're running free con class, place the mobile spawn in a building or a crate or, or something where the mobile spawn is in a closed area. Because trust me, your teammates will like you because, because it's, it's less obvious for them to parachute in <laughs> the, the long way. And you just blown your cover of, of pretty much sneaking into the enemy territory. And, and, I, and I wanna, another thing I want to say is on Rush... There are going to be times when, in, in the game, you're, 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 you're going to, you know, have a hard time of planting a bomb. And you're, you're trying to break the enemy's defense to plant the bomb. And in, in the gameplay, it, kind of, it feels like that. You know, our, you know, your tickets are getting, cl you know, closer to zero. And, you know, and you're saying to your teammates, you know, let's get, let's get to these um, MCOMs ASAP and, or find a taint to give, you know, give you guys that cover. But... You're going to get stuck with an entire team that is just looking at the sky, at the pretty colors, enjoying the scenery. Ooh, ah. And they ain't helping your squad do crap. And you're sitting there like, well, damn. <laughs> you feel like you're the only ones doing work now. I, I, was, I was actually, <laughs> that was a mistake on my part. I was trying to plant the, um, the MCOM and <laughs> I right, got a two-piece out of that. Two-piece. <laughs> but... I'm saying is you don't want to give up on your team. Even if it's at like 10 or 5 or 1 ticket left, keep pushing for the MCOMs. Who, who cares if you die? You know, kill-death ratio doesn't matter in Battlefield 3. Cover your team. Make that final push uh, to, to the MCOMs as best as you can because the enemy, you know, has to defuse the bomb. Even if it's at 1 ticket and your, and your team actually plants the bomb, you, the, the enemy has to defuse the bomb, even if you're at one ticket. If they defuse the bomb, then they win the round. But if 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 they don't, you know, if if the if the bomb is still going, it doesn't matter how many of your of they you know it doesn't matter how many they kill of your team because what the, their goal is they have to actually defuse that bomb. And and that's the thing is that you wanna you wanna keep pushing up and don't give up because you know one hero on your team could pretty much you know. 
get that bomb plane off with that one ticket. And this is what's kind of what happened here. We were down at five tickets and we had a hero on our team, plant the bomb and we got it. We got the bomb plane off. So now it just reset it, the, t- the tickets again. And it's been many times like these on rush to get the MK, you know, get the, um, the MCOMs off and plane off. And we barely have a, like five tickets or one tickets. You know, that comes with not giving up on your teammates. Like I always say, each class on Battlefield 3, all play a role on this game. Use which class you are and master that class that caters to your style in Battlefield 3. And what I mean by your style of gameplay, you don't have to be beast of beast on Battlefield 3. If you play your part on your team, that's all your team can ask for. Battlefield 3 is a team effort game. Even in Team Deathmatch, it's a team effort to win, to collect 100 tickets to win that to win on Team Deathmatch. So... Message, so the message of the day is don't give up on your squad no matter what the outcome of the game. Communication, play your class to the best of your ability, and, and most importantly, have fun in playing Battlefield 3. There are a ton of, of things to do in this game. You know, watching other people's YouTube videos, I'm just, you know, I'm just saying myself, yo, I'm a toddler in playing this game. I haven't even did 60, 60% in this game yet. So have fun. And playing Battlefield 3, you don't. If you don't have any friends to play this game, make some new ones on the Battlefield 3 forums or even on Yacht's forums. You know there are some great gamers that will want to hang with you on Battlefield 3. You know on on these forums, and also you can hit me up, PM me, and I'll add you on my first account because, like I said in my other ones, my other videos it just takes too way too long to rank up on Battlefield 3. You know if I do forget, just remind me. You know I am human. I do forget sometimes. Um, as the time as the time is winding down, you know, follow me on Twitter and also on Facebook, where all the fun is, and we we can chat and hang out there. And also follow Yaush and also Women's Gamers Unite, and all that will be in the description box below. And as time as the game's coming down, I do go. I think what twenty six and ten. I think it is. Eh, oh whatever. We win. We win. <laughs> all right, guys. I am. I'm out of here. Peace out.